one of these days, I think we're going to be able to eradicate all tactical FPSs that are made with store-bought assets that are made in probably two to three hours and thrown up on the store for low prices to scam people into thinking they're good games. One of these days, they'll all be gone from Steam, but today, <laughs> today's not one of those days. I hope you guys are having a good one. Thank you for clicking on the video. My name is Big Fry, and we have, we have another tactical FPS that is just launched onto Steam. This game is called Combat Cycle. This video is about to be a banger. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, leave a like on it. If you don't, click that dislike. Tell me to go fuck myself in the comments and keep it moving. As always, if you guys enjoy the videos, become a member. Click that join button down below. Support me for 99 cents a month. Or you guys can check out my merch store, my video game store, if you're ever looking for good deals. Fanatical Humble Bundle or my own custom Nexus store. All those links are down in the description below. Fuck the intro. Let's get into it. I'll see you on the next one. First things first, right off the bat. I just want to let you guys know it only has the option to do 1920 by 1080, 1366 by 768, and 1280 by 720. And uh, I'm going to take the volume down just a little bit. It starts at 75 until you click and then I'll take the music down to zero. And just as I thought, the options menu does nothing. This is actually a nice little menu here. Let's go main weapon. Uh, you guys know me. I do. I do like my AR. You know, if we had an M4, I'd be using that. But we got a few weapons here. You know, to boot. We got the Scar, the M M680, the SKS, MP7. I'm gonna rock the MK18 rifle, and I guess I'll just hit equip. Apparently, we can put optics on there. So we do got a little bit of weapon customization. And you know what? Fuck it. We'll throw a laser on this bitch, too. So I'd say, like, Tarkov level customization here, which looks pretty fucking good to me. Okay, so grenade. And we'll do a, a shield. Back, back, back. So that's my equipment. Here we go. Laid out on the table here. Let's play. Let's do city. A lot of cover. You know, if you can go in and out of buildings, which I highly doubt you can in this game. Because most of these just look like uh, store-bought assets. And chances are there's no interiors to any of them. But let's find out. City! So I don't even know what the game is. Is it just hunting bots or... Okay, here we go. Okay, options. Can I, like, remove the HUD? Probably not. What am I asking? What am I saying? That FOV, though, huh? Jesus Christ. Bro, this is tactical close quarters FPS. I'm like zooming, bro. Bro, this is tactical, man. Fucking nightclub, dude. Just floating text. Love it. Uh, let's try V. Oh, this is my knife, okay. Oh, that was just one wave, okay. So it's wave survival. Oh my god. Yo, what are those? Oh, okay. Yo, I recognize that reload anywhere. Seeing one, so they don't have the audio. The same animation pack from the game I covered a long time ago called Riot Street. High explosive bullets. All right, let's see. Awesome, bro. Hit markers. What, okay, what I will say is at least the audio indicates, you know, where they're at. That, there's no doubt about that. Um, but let me see here. I think if I just sit here and do this. And then what if I just hit B? There we go. Militant is breaching. Okay. So unless they spawn behind me. Which I doubt they will. Okay. Reload that real quick. Got it. Okay, it's described as an intensive tactical FPS based on lethal close quarters gameplay. Single player gameplay.
Wow. I, I tell you what, the effort to, to make something like this is incredible. This is amazing stuff. I mean, this is all uh, store-bought assets. Um, this is actually probably just a map pack that they place down. I don't really know how much of this is custom work, but... This is uh, awesome gameplay, dude. Oh, and I can actually jump on that thing too? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Wow, hold on. Okay. It's funny that you can actually shoot faster when you jump in, but look it, it actually broke it because they're not actually charging me. So many headshots, bro. So now if I jump out of that, and then jump in. I think I broke it. Yeah, the AI breaks when you jump in the gun, which is fucking hilarious. That's actually really funny. So if I just place this here here and here and then jump back here and then just do this wow cool Oh my god, they destroyed the turret! Yeah, that checks out. Dude, tactical, bro. <laughs> cool. Amazing stuff, yeah. You're shooting me through the walls, huh? Bro, so fucking tactical. Oh, wait, but he added this little thing where you could shoot through. Oh, what? Amazing stuff. I love how they're already pre-firing the corners. Basic bitch-ass AI. You know what's sad, though? Like, with these assets, I could actually see you doing something pretty cool but they put together this if you ha if you had these assets from the marketplace right because this is all marketplace assets none of this is original work you could actually do something pretty cool i think with a little bit of effort and maybe a couple of years of dev time under your belt maybe just maybe i'm asking too much like they don't even fire at me until they get to a certain range right unreal like, you can't even pick up weapons if you wanted to. There's just nothing. Point and shoot in, in a bunch of store-bought assets that somebody put together in a couple of hours. Wow, high explosive bullets. Mmm. Look at that. Dude, super tactical. Get the fuck out of here.